excited about the video today. I'm gonna to try to keep it short. I, uh, I have a lot of ground to cover, but I wanted to do a thrift haul for you guys. However, the haul's not very big, to be honest. I just haven't found a ton of stuff recently, but I did find some things, and I decided to combine it with just a regular clothing haul plus try-on, because I have bought quite a few things uh, in the last, I don't know, couple months maybe, just from, you know, maybe TJ Maxx or Ross, wherever. Uh, and I just decided to just put it together and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. You seem to enjoy the last clothing haul try on that I did. So I decided I'm gonna do it again. Um, I am excited about it. So I'm gonna show you what I found thrifting first. Uh, and then I will go ahead and do like a try on with you guys. Maybe give you some outfit ideas. I am a Mennonite if you're new. I wear skirts and I try to dress modestly and I know that everyone's opinion of what's modest and what isn't is going to vary. I do enjoy sharing places that I you know am able to find things. So check the description box and I'm going to get right into it. Okay first of all I have a really pretty vase. I have some leftover flowers that are starting to look a little sad. I <laughs> Well, you see the lilies here, but they're starting to, to to kind of be past their prime. However, I had put them in this vase. I'll show you up close. I thought it was really, really pretty. It has those nice little ridges in it. And this one was from Goodwill. It's a really good size. I don't know if you can see by my hands. Uh, so I'm excited about this one. I'm not sure where it's from. Thought I would show you that. The next thing I did score on some shoes this time around. So I found these really cute boots. Um, these are a little big, but and they were a little pricey. They were like $14.99, mainly because I think they weren't really worn much at all. But in any case, I'm excited about these. We're going to Ohio. Um, I'm going to Ohio this weekend. My husband's coming up next week, and my sister is getting married in Holmes County. So we're gonna be up there for a little bit, and they have you know fall weather and everything. So I'm excited about that. Um, I wanted to say I'm going to be doing, I think, two videos. If you watched um, the video this summer when I did the visiting Amish country, I'm going to do another one and share some more places that I think you guys would enjoy. I've heard so much feedback from you guys saying you visited and went to different places and things. So I'm going to try and do like a fall edition if I can. And also, I plan to try and film the preparation for Erica's wedding and also um, maybe some clips of the day of the wedding. So be on the lookout for that. The next pair of shoes are some pumps. Now I typically do not really wear a lot of heels, especially not of this kind. Um, they're slightly more chunky in the back. They're like the nude kind and these were $9.99. Uh, but they're really, they're the soft, soft brand. They're pretty comfortable, although now that I got them home, I feel like they're a tad tight, uh, but I think that, you know, just for your random like church service or somewhere that I'm not like doing a ton of walking, I think it'll be okay. So it's just, yeah, I, I like to occasionally add shoes to my wardrobe and for something that I, you know, I don't wear them like all the time, I just don't feel like spending a lot of money on them. So I was excited about that. Next item is this pot. I really liked the design in it and it's a really good size. I'm trying to get more containers like this size, but I plan to paint it probably white or black. Not sure yet. I, I haven't really done anything with it. I wanted to show you guys first. This one was $5.99. Uh, another kind of random, nothing that exciting, but I'm using this as a waste basket up in our room. I don't think I showed you guys before. Um, this one was like a couple dollars. And then another useful item I found is one of these tray, like letter sorters or paper sorter things. Uh, this one was $3.99 at Goodwill and I've been using it on our desk in our office. So that is still coming along. It's definitely taken longer than I expected, so. <laughs> um, and the last random item is these velvet hangers. I love using these for uh, like my sweaters and everything. I use wooden ones for most of our other clothes, but I like these as well. And they're very like slim. So highly recommend velvet hangers. And I love if they're, you know, matching and everything. So I know very random, but I thought I'd show you that. Okay, going into the clothing, I have like 
three pieces. I'm, I'm thinking I may have forgotten something, but I don't think so. I just haven't found a lot of clothing recently. So I have this really pretty rose color. I had been undecided whether I wanted to get it because I felt like it's a little long, but sleeves are the kind that'll probably roll up or like pull up most of the time anyway. This is from Gap and it's the same place I got the hangers. It was more like a consignment store. So I'm thinking it was five or six dollars maybe because I think it was on sale. And last night, I actually found a really cute dress. This is Wild Fable, which is the Target brand. And the tag is actually still attached. Um, and this one, it has like those little, I'll try it on for you guys then. It has like the elastic in the sleeves and it does have buttons all the way down. It comes just below the knee, but I'll show you guys. I will obviously wear a t-shirt underneath it. And then I also took in the side just a little bit and sewed the front shut just because there was like a big long slit here in the front and then, you know, the buttons can tend to come open. So I did do a little bit of a like revamping on it, um, but I, I thought it's something different and for some reason it makes me think of Megan Fox. So <laughs> if you don't watch her, she does clothing hauls quite a bit and she loves like the little um, mini floral prints. I just feel like it looks like her. So I don't know if Megan's gonna see this video, but if you're watching Megan, I had to think of you. And then the last one is something a little different for me. Uh, this is kind of maybe a bold shirt. Um, it is long sleeved, but I am able to roll up the sleeves a little bit. It has like a, a button here and it is kind of sheer, but I'll probably like tuck it in. So I'll maybe try on a few different outfit ideas and see what you guys think. But I decided to kind of go out of my normal and find something for church. Um, this is from Ann Taylor Loft. So this was also thrifted. I do believe that is about everything from the thrift store. Now, this is something I found on Amazon. Speaking of pumps, I know I should have just been able to wear these for my sister's wedding, but they're just, I know I'm not gonna be able to walk around in them all day. So I ordered these on Amazon. They're actually Clark's. And I decided, you know, those might actually be a little bit more comfortable, but they have like a little ankle strap. I'll show you once I have them on. They're just a tad tight. Um, I was going by reviews, so I'll have them linked in my Amazon store, I think, or I'll have a link down below. They just have like a shorter little stubby pump heel. I think I would say they're true to size. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this as quick as I can. Uh, I love this shirt. I found it the other day at Ross. I find quite a lot of shirts and tops at Ross, to be completely honest. And I wish I could link those for you, but I cannot. Um, it's just a really pretty rust color. And then this one was only like five something, I think. So that's what I love about it. Perfect for fall. Um, and then the skirt is from Main Street Exchange. I bought, I think, three skirts recently, and I have numerous skirts from there. I love their clothing selection, and it's really good for like staples. This one I've been wearing a ton. It is like a faded color, and I just saw right now that it looks like there's some orange stuff on it. I'm wondering if it's from my um, lilies that I was holding. I'm hoping, I hope it's not rust. But I wear this one all the time. It has a lot of like stretch to it. I love it. Goes with, you know, a lot of different things. While I'm at it, I have been on the hunt for an oatmeal sweater or oatmeal colored sweater for a long time. Like a, you know, just a cozy sweater. I was determined I would find one thrifting, but not to, not to be found. So I finally broke down and bought this one at Target. I'm sure some of you guys will recognize it. They also have like a rust color. They have some other colors in it. Um, it was a little bit of an investment, but I already know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. So Sometimes, you know, staple items like that are okay to spend a little bit more. I will have it linked down below. They still sell it. Um, I don't know, it's very comfortable. It's just very cozy for fall, winter, especially here in Florida. Hi, honey. Bye-bye. <laughs> you wanna do your outfit of the day there? This is my outfit of the day. <laughs> Shirt from Under Armour. Shorts from I Don't Remember. <laughs> Shoes from Puma. Very good, and you're Sponsor going... Sponsored by Puma. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
he's got a golfing lesson that he's going to so and then I have the short booties I don't know um, if this is the perfect outfit for these I feel like tall boots might do might look okay I do have tall ones but I haven't actually worn them here in Florida so anyway I love this sweater so I will definitely have that one linked below so my neighbor's outside and if she looks over here she's probably gonna wonder what I'm doing <laughs> Anyway, here is the dress from the thrift store that I was showing you. Like I said, there's buttons that go down here, and then here it was actually open, and so I just sewed it shut. I thought that would work okay, uh, and then I took it in just a tad. It does have like a, a tie belt here in the back. Uh, I think I'm supposed to tie it in the back. Right now, I just have sandals on. Let me know what you guys would wear with this one. It is a little bit that length where I'm not always sure it's quite flattering on me. I had another dress and I'll explain in a little while, but in any case, I really do love this print and I just think it's fun and it'll work for fall and winter. I don't know if I should put something around the waist or not, so you guys can let me know what you think. So here is a uh, business dressy outfit, I think I would call it. Uh, I have like a pencil skirt and I've had this one for a while but this one had been from Burlington I think and um, my mirror is not the cleanest in the world here. Looks like there's a little dust on it. Um, but anyway I feel like this works together uh, however I think I might try another skirt with it as well and I just have my nude pumps with these. I feel like I could go with different color skirts because it's got quite a few different like colors. There's like a tan you know the burgundy then there's the black and the blue i decided the black might look better because there's not as much of it um and i i feel like that that works together so i don't know it's definitely a little different and you probably don't ever see me dressed like this <laughs> it's because i don't really film when i'm like super dressed up so here i have it with a a long maxi skirt this one is from main street exchange i do feel like I could also maybe do this. So I thought while I have the black skirt on, I'll just show you this top. Uh, this is also, I'm trying to think, I believe it was from Ross. And it's got like the, I don't know how you call those sleeves, layover sleeves. Um, and then it's a pretty like long flowy top, so I just have it tucked in. Um, I don't think I've ever worn this outfit before. I think it could work also. I think this one would go well with like a white skirt, uh, like a denim maybe fitted. I think I might've done that before. And then I'll go ahead and show you my pumps here. I feel like the second time I'm wearing them, they already feel slightly looser, so. All right, next is a really casual outfit, but I wanted to show you guys this skirt. This is also Main Street Exchange, and no, I am not sponsored. <laughs> uh, but this is one of their denim, I forget the name, but I'll have it linked. It's a pretty, I would say, mossy green, um, so not like a super dark olive. And then the shirt, I know you've seen it before, um, but I really like it. It is from Target, and I believe you can still get them, so I'll have that linked as well. Next outfit is, you might remember, my top from Inherit Co. Um, clothing company. I will try to link that if they have that. Uh, and then I put it with this skirt. I haven't worn this one often. I feel like it's a very fall color. It's rust. I don't know if it's showing up true on camera, but it's, yeah, it's like a rust. It's not like a bright red or anything, but I also found this sweater recently. It was at TJ Maxx, I think. So you might be able to find them there. It's just a nice open like black sweater, not very heavy at all. And then the, the skirt was from Ross last year and I think it was under $10. So I don't know, I, I kind of like this for fall. I feel like it works well. And I just have my pumps. I really don't have a ton of variety with shoes. Plus I didn't bring them all downstairs. So you're gonna see these pumps in a lot of them. Okay, next one is this dress from Old Navy. I got it, I don't know, a month or two ago, and they still have the black and the rust. The rust, I was just checking, and I don't think they have anything left except for small, so I don't know if they're restocking it or not, but 
They have these really cute ties here. I am wearing my layering tank underneath it, but otherwise it is like the most comfy dress. It's just a nice uh, stretchy knit fabric. And this is a size medium. Hits me just, you know, below the knee a little bit. Um, so I guess a midi length probably. And I'm 5'5", five five, so if that gives you any reference in case you're wondering about sizing, I'd say they're true to size. I typically wear medium. Actually, come to think of it, Old Navy, I usually size down one or two. So I would say they're normal for dress sizes as far as what I typically buy at other places. Like I'm generally a medium or a small. Um, so I would feel like it's probably true to size, but not maybe true to Old Navy size. I always feel like I get like an extra small or small at Old Navy. Maybe I'm the only one, but in any case, I think it's a really cute dress and I'll have it linked below. Okay, and then here is my rose colored sweater that I thrifted. It has like the gathers and the sleeves and it's just a very lightweight sweater. I love this color for fall and even winter. This is the dress that I'm going to be wearing at my sister's wedding. I'm going to be guest registrar. But this dress has a bit of a story to it. <laughs> Last spring I ordered a dress from Bates Sisters Boutique, which was this one right here. Uh, however, I never wore it, mainly because when I got it, the skirt was at a very awkward length once again. And this is similar to how the waistband looked, except just a little bit wider and it did have gathers. It, it fell at just below my knee, and I promise you, it just made me look frumpy, made me look like I had no waist, and I just never wore it. I just felt like it didn't fit. However, my sister had this fabric that I'm supposed to wear. It's almost like a velvety feel to it, and then the other side is like just a regular kind of crepe um, look to it, and I was like, it is so dumb because I love the top, and I was really kind of nervous about sewing. Um, so for you seamstresses out there, here's a little idea for you. I literally went and after talking to my mom and Erica, trying to figure out how I could like use this top but not the skirt, I went ahead and picked off their whole skirt that they had on here and added my own skirt to it. And it's now a nice long length. I just added this like tie belt to it to kind of finish it off and hide any like imperfections here. So I am honestly really excited about it. Um, let me know what you guys think or if you've ever done this before. Um, if you don't mind picking things open, keep that in mind when you're shopping. Sometimes you know you can find a nice top, but then the skirt is maybe not you know to your liking or vice versa. Maybe don't tell Bates sisters. <laughs> So this is a half outfit. Um, I would not pair the black and this together, but I don't have my shirt down here that I often wear with it and I'm being lazy. So the skirt is what I wanted to show you. This is not a new skirt for me, but in case you're looking for some, this is once again, Main Street Exchange. They have a lot of different colors in this particular skirt. And I think it's around, I'm gonna say mid $20. It's just a nice, like a little bit more fitted. Not like extremely wide, uh, but it's a nice, you know, long skirt. I think this is gonna be the last thing I'm trying on, but I just wanted to show you guys this nice, comfy, rose-colored sweater again, and I'm trying to remember where I got it. I think it was Ross or TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Marshalls, but it's just a nice, cozy one. So definitely always remember to check those stores. I find a lot of tops, and they have a lot of good selection as far as sweaters and like, I don't know, just different. I have a lot of other tops that I didn't even show you guys that I've accumulated over the you know last year or whatever. And then the, the black skirt is one that I wear all the time. It's a denim. It's just a nice, uh, nice length. This one is from Inherit Clothing Company and you probably remember seeing it. So just thought I would show you guys that. I wanted to show you just a few pieces that I'm not actually trying on. Um, this is an olive color sweater and I will say olive is like, here. Olive is the hardest color to get right on camera. Um, I mean, like it just looks really like brown. And I know you've probably seen it, but it's not as brown in person as it looks on camera. So this is from Old Navy. And once again, this is what the typical size I would often wear is extra small, especially in like their sweaters and cardigans and stuff. So 
Um, that's what I was referring to with the dress. I just like this one. It's a long one. It's just a nice, you know, olive neutral color. Is olive neutral? Barely. <laughs> and then I have two more tops that I have that are from, uh, I think Marshalls. No, maybe TJ Maxx. You know, they they have a lot of the same brand. So this is the Hippie Rose brand. And they have a lot of different ones right now, I feel like. I know it's like pink, but I feel like it looks like fall because it has, you know, the rust colored flowers and the olive and everything. So here's another one that is just a plain kind of sage green olive color. Almost forgot. Uh, you may have seen this one before. I think I wore it in another video, but this one was Ross. So it's the similar, it's like a similar kind to the others. It's sheer, uh, the back has like this and a little gold button. And then it's just, you know, a nice dressy shirt. I would wear this for church quite a bit, um, like these types of things. So I thought I would show you that. So I also wanted to read a Bible verse at, in closing just to maybe inspire you or encourage you in some way, challenge you. Uh, I know that these verses that I'm reading are very challenging and I wanted to share them with you. They're from Colossians 3, 12 and 13 and I'm reading from the ESV version. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Patience is one that I very much lack in. Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. It continues on and I could keep reading because it kind of just keeps going, but I'll leave it at that. Um, Colossians 3 verses 12 and 13 go check it out if you know you want to read the whole chapter but it's just a really good challenge for us um, to put on these character traits if you will to to try and remember this I for one fail in this miserably and it's something that I need to do better and especially like I said the patience thing it's something that I need to keep working on in my own heart forgiveness patience meek and quiet spirit uh, it's just something that can be so hard to do at times. But with God's help, we can continue to grow and be able to forgive each other if things come up and realizing that we're not all gonna see things the same way. And it's a challenge to myself to just let it go, forgive, and move on. So that, those verses are very challenging and I thought I would just share them with you guys if you're needing you know, maybe something to meditate on today. Um, so let's pray for each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support and I am excited for the next couple videos. I, I just think that they're going to be fun and you guys will enjoy them. This has been a really long video. I will stop talking. Have a good day guys and be blessed. Bye.